All right, back again. Oh, it's been a while. Had a bit of stuff going on. Um, I had a scooter there, and it's gone. Someone in my family needed it, so I gave that to get them. So I'm gonna have to put that little challenge I had on on hold. Uh, but anyway, I bought myself a little metal cut-off saw. It makes life a lot easier and makes the garage a lot dirtier. And um, I went down to the local scrapyard and picked up about 10 lengths of this RHS box section here. It's three and a half mil thick, four mil thick, so it's quite thick. 3.75 I think, so I don't know what that is in inches, but it's quite thick. And uh, I think it cost me um, $40 Australian all up, so probably $200 saved there, $300 saved there, because I, I purposely bought very thick steel for a reason. So anyway, I'm alluding to what I've been doing. Uh, I can't really go any further on the bus at the moment. Um, it's just too shoehorned in here for me to work on it to get under it so I decided that I needed to build a rotisserie um, I've been putting it off for a few years now but I decided I might as well on a side note these blades don't last long on these things I suppose it's got to do with the thickness of that but uh, I've chewed through that thing already but um anyway so there it is it's not totally finished yet, but uh, it's a very stout uh, rotisserie and it's fully adjustable. Um, it's got quite large casters on it, lockable wheels. Um, this will last a thousand years. Uh, it's, it's stronger than anything I've seen on the market here in Australia anyway. Most of the stuff's very thin, cheap. So, there she is. The only thing I went smaller on is the gauge of these braces here, but if I feel that it's flexing, I'll just add another one. I got that steel for free, so I just thought I'd use it. And it's also just a little bit thinner where I'll be working with my hands, so I thought that'd be good. So the idea is... Uh, is on the inside so when it's on the bus this will be on the inside and uh, that T section there has the brackets to come out to the bumper bar and that goes in here and it slides up and down and then it's bolted from the back and it'll be able to do a 360 and um, I was going to do a fine adjustment with a screw but I'm just going to leave it for the moment uh, I'll get it set once while I'm doing all of these preliminary welds and then maybe think about you know making a better version later on but this is going to be extra extra strong and uh, there won't be any flex in this at all and what I'll do is I'll put uh, two adjustable bolts up here and that'll level out the pitch that I'll have to square it off when it's sitting. And they'll also second as um, a fastening. So whatever angle I want, I'll be tightening it there for the moment. Uh, I thought about putting a motor on it. I've left space here for a uh, DC motor. Uh, reversible and with a foot pedal down here but uh, sorry the motors on this side this is back to front right now but uh, yeah I, I thought I might put a motor on it one day but just to be a bit a bit tricky but I spent three days on it now um, so this is all scrap metal 
and uh, but obviously it's very strong very very strong it's all thick walled stuff uh, yeah you might be able to see it there some of it's a little thinner but yeah you can see that thickness it's definitely for what I see on the American market that's about a two or three thousand dollar machine so I'm happy with that um, I've got a few more bits and pieces I've got to buy I've got to get some long H88 bolts I don't want them to flex at all so I'll probably drill this out a little and get uh, 12 mil bolts and I've got to go get some lunch so I've been at work all night and this is three o'clock in the afternoon so uh, getting a bit hungry but I just thought I'd put this up just to say that I am doing something it's finally cooled down a little bit now so uh, I can get back in the garage it's just way too hot we're on position now at the moment it's just a big concrete slab out here and in the summertime we're looking at 40 degrees Celsius so it gets a bit much but in winter time this year oh sorry in summertime this year I got myself organized and I uh, set myself up with a little side business oh it's not a business yet but it will be I've got um, beehives out and about I've got about 25 European beehives all over the state now the lower part of the state so uh, that'll be a lot of work come the end of summer when they all start duplicating so um, and a lot of native beehives too so I've got uh, just under 30 native bees now and that's a lot so but just thought I'd show you that and hopefully next video I'll have this up on the rotisserie which will be cool anyway next time